Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot for the taste of Epcot's International Festival of the Holidays. It is finally holiday time here at Epcot, the last park to actually start all of its Christmas decorations and Christmas festivities. And today's the first day and we're here to check it out. So let's go do this. I'm absolutely loving the Christmas music as we're walking in. You know, I have to say, Epcot has always been one of my favorite parks for the holidays, especially the old holiday illuminations tag. That one really got me right in the heart. Even though there's gonna be no fireworks this year, there's still gonna be so much festivities happening. Ride, holiday overlays, some very festive foods, and even some very good holiday shows. So we're gonna make sure to try to get as much as we can done here. The park is open till 10 o'clock, which is amazing because then I get to see Epcot at night and it's the holidays. Probably the first thing we need to do is get a festival passport just so we can kind of formulate a plan. I'm excited. I know the cookie stroll is happening this year. That is always a favorite, but I also want to see what kind of shows they got going on. One of the things I'm probably most excited about though is seeing the Christmas tree all lit up and just seeing all the multicolor lights at Epcot. Like I said, the park's open till 10. I didn't get here until like two or three. So that way I know that I'm gonna stay all night. Both the land and Journey into Imagination when Figment have a little bit of a holiday overlay. So I do wanna check those out, but I'm a little hungry and a little thirsty. So I think we'll head right into World Showcase and maybe hit up one of the festival boots. Wow, and there she is, the Epcot Christmas tree. It's actually a little lit right now. We'll definitely come back at night though. One thing I love is the ornaments on this tree because it's from all the different countries around the world and it actually tells you different ways to say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. One of my favorite trees. The first boot that I came across is the holiday suite and treats and it's the resting or ending spot for the holiday cookie stroll. So once I go around and purchase all of the other cookies, I get this complimentary mini pimpermint cookie right here for free. So it's really fun to do because you get to try a whole bunch of different cookies and then you get a free cookie at the end. So we're definitely going to be doing that and I don't know which way is the best way to start. Probably Canada. Yeah. So we'll actually work our way right over that way. One thing that I noticed, they actually have some of the actual festival boots from Food and Wine and Festival of the Holidays open at the same time. So you have lots of great options. Oh my lord, they have a Mali Kaliki Maka boot though right here. This is where the Hawaii boot used to be and I definitely have to get something. I don't know if I should get the pork or if I should get one of the sparkling pineapple wines. Oh, or a melon breeze with spiced rum. Wow, things are getting out of hand here at Mali Kaliki Maki. I really think I'm just gonna have to go right for the cool little pork. I need something to eat so that I can make my way around. Definitely need some energy. Holy moly, guys, take a look at this pork. And look at the sweet potatoes. This is gonna be very delicious, I already know. I'm excited. Very, very good plate presentation. I bet you it tastes just as good as it looks. I don't know what I wanna try first, the pork or if I wanna try the potatoes, but look at that. That is so cool looking, isn't it? Oh wow, this is like so festive. Here goes nothing. I absolutely love it. And you can see a little pineapple over there. A little bit of spice though. And also I'm just realizing they give you a whole lot of pork. Like I like tilted it over and I thought I just like had a little pinch of pork on top of the potatoes, but they kind of like sunk it in like a boat captain. It was very delicious. And it looks like the peppermint pinwheel cookie at the Yukon Holiday Kitchen is only $2.50. I think that's going to be the overall price for all the cookies. So you uh, spend 10 bucks, you get six cookies and a milk. I like it. And there's the first cookie, the peppermint pinwheel. This looks really delicious and soft. I don't know how I feel about those sprinkles on the side though. But I think I want to take my cookie and maybe find a place with some AC. And I was hoping that the World Show Place, where they actually sold the nitro cake pops during the Food and Wine Festival, was open. And maybe they're doing some holiday specials inside there. So we're going to check that out. Oh, it looks like it is open and they have a little decoration outside. I like it. Fancy. And I just got a glimpse inside and I'm not ready for this. Oh my lord, it's amazing in here. And take a look at this. Look at all the amazing photo opportunities. Oh, I'm so happy they're utilizing this 
well, showplace building. So good, so good, Disney. Before I get a table, I think I'm gonna have to hop into Prost. Anybody know what that actually means? They're serving some very delicious holiday themed beers here. A ginger blonde house ale, a cinnamon hard cider, a 70 degree winter weizen. Oh boy, I definitely have to get some of these. I think I'm gonna get the gingerbread beer, but hold on. The joyful celebration is happening. Oh boy. say the Christmas IPA is delicious but I have very high expectations for the gingerbread or the ginger blonde but I'm just loving hanging out in here listening to the Christmas music look at everyone getting excited about the trees yep a very special Christmas the ginger blonde beer is very delicious but actually I like the Christmas IPA better I was really shocked by that. And I ran into my friend Jojo. Jojo's world. Prost. Prost. Ah. There was just so much happening as soon as I walked in to the World Show place. I didn't even get to talk to you guys about the peppermint cookie. In fact, I actually didn't even eat the peppermint cookie yet. I had my beers and then I was watching Joyful. So now I'm going to actually try and let you know what I think. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. That is so good. It's like a peppermint sugar cookie. Wow. Bravo. In the case that I actually don't finish the cookie stroll today, I know that as long as I keep that book and come back, I can just pick up wherever I left off. Hopefully I do, but it's a good start to knock that one out. I really liked it. Now I want to show you some more of the boots that are actually in the show place here. Because like I said, as soon as I came in, it was like game on. I was like, whoa. They've opened up so much more room in here to actually sit and relax. We've got a grand piano up there. And then over here, we have a very nice gingerbread display. Ooh, I'm excited because, you know, we've been lacking in the gingerbread department recently. Right there it is, the gingerbread capital city. Marvel at the realistic gingerbread city created by the Disney chefs. It looks amazing. Very fancy, isn't it? Wow, lots of detail. Lots and lots of detail. Wow, I wonder how long this took. Oh, I can see Pluto. I see Pluto and then I see Daisy there. Oh, they have little Mickey bushes too. Very cool. Other than the actual gingerbread capital city, they actually have a holiday wreath station and then a festival favorites. We've already looked at the pro stand. That's where we got the gingerbread beer and the uh, Christmas IPA. But I want to show you the other things. Oh my lord, the holiday wreath actually has a salted caramel spaceship birth cookie. I think I'm sold. I have to get it. I mean, I was going to focus on the cookie stroll today, but this isn't a part of it and I just need to get it. There are so many amazing things at this stand right here. Look at all those delicious treats. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. I love it. They also have the festival favorite stand where they actually have some very good things, including the duck confetti. Since I was in here, I had to get my second cookie for the cookie stroll, which is the gingerbread man. And that's right at the festival favorites. I'm gonna wait to eat my Spaceship Earth cookie because I actually wanna take a picture with it, with Spaceship Earth. So we're gonna take it all the way out of the park with us. And that might be my last cookie of the night. I might hold on to it for that long. I had to come outside of the World Show Place though because it was getting really loud in there, especially with Joyful, which isn't a bad thing, but I needed to try my cookie and uh, I needed to actually get moved along or else I'd probably spend all day in there. Anywho's, here is the gingerbread cookie stroll number two. Hmm. It's very good. A little hard, 
not soft, but good. I heard actually the Jaminators performing over here in the Canada Pavilion and they look so festive. Look at this! The Jaminators are so much fun, and I love how they added a little holiday flair to their setup. But one thing I'm gonna miss very much is actually the stories of Christmas. Like Father Time used to tell the story of Christmas over here in the UK pavilion. Now they kind of just have like a nice little decorated gazebo. And actually the characters, like Alice, when it's actually night out, will come and stand on this lit up gazebo. I don't know if I'll be back here during the night, but that's a really cool place to actually socially distance meet a character. And as we move along, we've come to such an amazing opportunity. We have a moon on this side, and then we have the sun setting on this side. This is so awesome. Now I'm coming up on one of my favorite cookies from last year and a special Hanukkah beer. I'm super excited, so I have to wait for these. Right here it is. We got the black and white cookie. That was my favorite last year. And then the Hanukkah beer, a jelly donut pastry ale. Wow, this is something else right here. The Laheim stand is very popular this year, but honestly, the lines have not been that bad. The longest I think I've waited so far was probably at the Yukon to get the uh, peppermint pinwheel cookie. So this one's actually not that bad. Here it is, the black and white cookie. Like I said, this is my favorite last year. And as you can see, our book is getting pretty, pretty full. Two more to go and I got a free cookie and I'm excited because I think that free cookie is new this year. But also, I'm excited to try this Hanukkah beer. One thing I suggest not doing is washing the cookie down with the beer. I don't think that's a good mixture. So I'm gonna take a bite of the cookie and then we'll let it sit for a second and then we'll try the beer. It was my favorite last year, and it might be again this year. That is so good, so soft and delicious. I love it. But now, for probably the most unique beer of the night. Even though the gingerbread beer probably was a little bit cool and unique, but I think this one is way more different. Oh my lord. That can't be right. What, what is happening here? Come on! The beer has such a sweet aftertaste. Seriously, this might be my favorite drink. I mean, we're not even halfway around the World Showcase. And at first I thought it was only gonna come in here for a second and then go ride some rides. But once the train gets a roll and you can't stop, especially here at Epcot, I should have got a bigger one. Maybe I will. And we have to keep moving along because the sun is going down pretty quick here. It's good that you actually have smaller portions of things like beers and food. But when you really find something you enjoy, like that beer at Lakayum, I really loved it. I wish I had a bigger one. But at the same time, you don't want to overfill because you want to try as many as you can. So that's why I'm only doing the small portions. Like, So I had three beers so far, but they were only just the six ounce beers. And I had three cookies and one snack item. I probably need to get some more food items. So we're gonna keep moving along around World Showcase just so we can experience the most. Oh, the boat's coming in. Look at it, fancy that. Because of time, we actually just jumped right over to America because we wanna catch the Voices of Liberty or the last showing of the night here, whether it be Voices of Liberty or the other performers. And also to look at the second Epcot Christmas tree. Look at that beautiful tree. And because this is technically Black Friday or the day after Thanksgiving, I know that the American holiday table always has some turkey and I think I might want some leftovers. And plus we need to get our next cookie for the cookie stroll. So turkey, a chocolate crinkle cookie, some live entertainment, and a Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. This is the only park that actually has two big Christmas trees inside them. Look at that. I was only going to get the turkey and the cookie, but then I seen they had an eggnog beer. 
look at that. An eggnog white porter ale from Shipyard. That's crazy. An eggnog white porter. Very fancy. And holy moly, so much food came out of that stand for me. Like the turkey dinner, it has turkey, green beans, stuffing, cranberry sauce, and then you got the chocolate crinkle cookie, and then the eggnog porter. I don't even know where to begin, but look at my view. I like it. Some very well-dressed people just walked by. I'm pretty sure that is the Voices of Liberty, or else they're very fancy people coming to Epcot. And I don't even know how to tackle this turkey. This is probably the best valued item, like, ever in existence. So much food for $5? This is craziness. I gotta say already, hands down turkey, best thing this year. This was amazing. Oh my, I'm blown away how much turkey they actually give you. The stuffing is on point, the green beans, perfect. And for like $5, this was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm sorry, I just have to say it right now. I don't think anything will beat it. The gravy is great. Look at down below, look at that. A crusty, like, oh, and there's some mashed potatoes. Oh, I just keep on winning here. This is too good. Too good, much too good for children. The turkey was delicious, but man, I have to say, I really like the eggnog beer. I haven't dove into the cookie yet. I think I really got too much here, guys. I mean, normally I kind of get excited when I see like really festive things. That's how I was at the Lakayam one, because I was like, oh man, this beer, and then the cookie, but oh, the turkey dinner was just so big. I would still say I liked the actual uh, Hanukkah beer at Lakayam better than the eggnog one. But I'm gonna try the cookie now. I don't, I don't like a lot of chocolate cookies, so I don't know how well this is gonna rank for me. Hmm. It's good, yeah. It kinda just tastes like a very powdered, sugared chocolate chip cookie to me. But I mean, it's still a decent cookie. I still think the black and white one will be my top, but the Linzer, when we get there, really might cut it close. Uh-oh, the show is starting. say they're not doing the candlelight processional this year but the voices of liberty literally gave me the chills absolutely adore them and i'm so happy to see them coming back to epcot and at this beautiful time of the year thank you so much that was so worth just coming here for i'm gonna come back just to watch them i need it to move along because we only have one cookie left and that's the linzer cookie right here in the germany pavilion but wow the line to get this cookie is absolutely crazy 
I mean, we are going all the way down and then around and then back up. Oh boy, this is a very popular cookie. The line actually went surprisingly pretty quick. I think it was 20 minute wait. I ended up getting the Linzer cookie and I had to get the schnitzel. I mean, I was in line for 20 minutes, so I walked out of there with the schnitzel. So I feel like I've gotten too much food today. This will probably be my last one, except for the free cookie, of course. And then we're gonna ride some rides. The schnitzel is very delicious, but what I'm most excited for is obviously the Linzer cookie. The only thing I don't like about powdered cookies is they kind of make a mess. So, I don't know, I'm gonna try knocking powder crumbs all over my shirt. Oh! It is just the perfect balanced cookie. Soft, delicious, not too sweet. It won. This is the best. Well, I still have the free one, so I don't know. We still got one more to go. The Linzer cookie definitely stole the show, but with that, we have completed the cookie stroll, so now let's go get our prize. But now we are on our way to go get our prize, and there she is, all lit up. Let me know in the comments now that we've seen all of the park's trees, which one is your favorite? Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, or right here at Epcot? There it is. Only one more stamp to go, and that's the free stamp. I'm so excited just to complete something. <laughs> it's not just about the cookies, it's about the journey. That's what I love about this. It's like a, a goal and you're like, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna do it. For the final cookie, thank you. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, I love it. Thank you. There it is, folks. We have completed the cookie stroll. And I like how they have the cookie individually packaged. I think I might just take it home. I have my Spaceship Earth cookie, uh, and I'm not gonna be able to eat that because I wanted to save that to take photos with, but I need to do that during the day, so I'm gonna have to like bring that cookie back. I failed, or probably eat it when I get home and then just buy another cookie. More or less, that's what's gonna happen. They're not giving milk out this year, just the cookie itself, but like I said, it's about the journey, and it was fun to actually complete the cookie stroll. So. Let's go uh, ride one of the holiday overlays that they actually started this year. When we mention holiday overlays, we usually are talking about when a ride has kind of an alteration to it to represent the holiday season, uh, like the live actors for Pirates of the Caribbean during the Halloween parties or how they have the teacups with the Halloween music. And here at Journey into Imagination, something is definitely in the Christmas spirit. Or should I say, somebody is in the Christmas spirit. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our established figments of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. There. Left here, right here. Left, right. What? This is on. And, hello? Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. Taste taps. Look at his little sweater. My open house right here. Great idea. We'll go to my open house instead. It's much more fun. Right this way, everybody. Figment, what is going on? You're turning this entire open house upside down. Upside down? Now you're talking. That's the best idea you've had all day. With just a spark of inspiration, I've made my house an innovation. Did you guys notice his little Christmas sweater? Isn't that such an awesome little touch? I really appreciate when they do little things like that. It really makes a big difference and I absolutely adore it. I wish they'd do it to more rides, just a little bit. And now we are gonna go living with the land because they have the full merry and bright holiday layover. This one is my favorite here at Epcot. And I definitely suggest that you come and do this ride at the end because when it's dark outside, the Christmas lights are a little bit brighter. Luckily, there's actually not a single person waiting to ride. 
I highly suggest you actually ride the front row because that's the only one that doesn't have this weird plexiglass on it. Nobody wants that. And this one's going on its own. And that's exactly what we did. Oh, we're going in. How will we meet tomorrow's growing needs for food production, yet still respect the needs of the land? Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. It's on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. Adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. So. It's so much fun, isn't it? And there's a lot more to come. I just like multicolor lights. They get me so excited. Most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up what's growing here. Wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our using our... Look at the little pepper wreaths. This technique That's very fancy. controls and recycles water and nutrients. This is so pretty, it, guys. I love it in here. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of culture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to... That was amazing. I love multicolored lights and going with living with the land it's such a peaceful wide as it is i just I, I think it's in a great overlay i don't know who came up with the idea but you did good and with that i think i'm done here today i had so much fun so much holiday cheer happening at epcot voices of liberty was probably the highlight of the night i really enjoyed them the cookie stroll was fantastic i feel so much like i feel proud i feel accomplished I did the cookie stroll and it wasn't so much eating the cookies it was the journey and it was just you know just fun things like world showcase things so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye